So Novotin OA um, is a minimally invasive um, uh, treatment for arthritis. It is an intra-articular injection of a radioactive material that decreases synovial hyperplasia and decreases intra-articular inflammation. It's only used once a year, and so it can have a full year's effect. And everyone that I've had that conversation with is very excited about it. I was surprised by the results of the Sinovetan OA studies. Um, the results were much longer lasting than I expected. Overall, the quality of life improvement was really more than I expected. Our experience with intraarticular injections is a, usually a very short term experience and this seemed to last much longer than I expected it to and the owners and all of the results showed that. Many of the oral medications like NSAIDs or analgesics, many dogs actually don't respond measurably at all. So this is, in my mind, one big advantage of Synovitin OA is that we expect a measurable response in any dog based on our, our, our experience with the treatment to date. When I treat an elbow with Synovitin OA, regardless of whether it's an early stage elbow with very mild elbow arthritis, maybe a grade one sort of elbow, or if it's a more severely affected elbow that already has significant cartilage loss, in all situations, I expect to see some level of improvement. And the clinical trial work that we did supports that. The thing I like about Synovitin OA is that based on the clinical testing data that we have, we can be very confident that, that this treatment will actually affect the level of synovitis in the joint. We can say with confidence, this will decrease synovitis in the joint. A lot of the things that they're using are non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, pain medications, joint supplements, um, and those tend to be expensive over time and they're administered daily and they can have side effects. And being able to do it once a year is amazing as far as um, control of their patient's pain. Certain treatments such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications have a higher risk of side effects than certain other types of, of therapeutic options. Synovitin OA, based on the clinical trial work that's been done, has an exceptionally low risk of having complications. In fact, we haven't identified any major sorts of complications that would risk the health of the joint secondary to treatment with Synovitin OA. So in my own mind, Synovitin OA is one of the safest treatment options that we have for elbow dysplasia at this point in time. When I am presenting Synovitin OA as a treatment option to owners, I'm going to position it as a treatment that we would want to use at the same time or for the same level of disease that we might use the more traditional conservative management options, anti-inflammatory drugs, analgesic drugs. Um, just as early in the course of the therapy, it's not a, a therapeutic that we're reserving for later in the course of the disease. And in fact, my expectation is that we'll get a better response if we can start this treatment earlier in the course of the disease because as we minimize synovitis, we help prevent the loss of cartilage and the degenerative joint disease that might come later. The benefit of Synovitin OA is that it can be used at the same time that other traditional conservative management options are being used. So we can administer Synovitin OA at the same time that we're administering traditional non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications. All the other intra-articular injections are temporary. We have steroids, we have joint lubricants. Um, those are temporary change of the microenvironment. Um, we have a way to more longer term treat that microenvironment. It complements joint supplements, it complements non steroidals, it complements pain medications because they're additive because they all have a different mode of action. It can be used with surgery, it can be used with joint supplements, it can be used with intra-articular injections. It's so complimentary. Um, we'd love to see if we have a joint and we just do one joint with surgery, do we go ahead and inject the other joint with Senovet and so maybe we can delay treatment of the arthroscopy that we need, but we'll still eventually need. Um, and so, this doesn't take the place of what we're doing now because it's an entirely different mode of action. Now we've got a new therapeutic that potentially has the benefit or potentially has the ability 
to allow those dogs to be much more comfortable than they could have been with traditional management options without having to have a procedure as invasive as a surgery.